asked Dan Schneider. Low Man number three asked me, Dan, what do you think is the best soundtrack of all time for a film? Or what is the most effectively used music? That's a tough question. I'm not a musical expert. Um, certainly 2001 is famed for its use of the Blue Danube. Now, when you hear a handful of the tunes from that movie, you can't help but think of that movie. Uh, the opening of Woody Allen's Another Woman uses uh, Eric Satie's Jim Napiti number three very effectively, more so than uh, even um, My Dinner with Andre uh, some years earlier. Um, both are very effectively used. Um, there are so many different types. Uh, uh, some of the best scores come from films that only have a few musical interludes, maybe two or three minutes, and the rest of the film isn't scored. Um, you know, there are jazz scores, there are rock scores, um, there are, uh, you know, original music scores. So it's really hard to determine, but probably the most famous is 2001. And, you know, he was uh, a master at using music, as it was Woody Allen. Um, I'm sure... You know, you could go through some Fellini films. Um, you know, some of the Godzilla films. I did a, a show on uh, Godzilla recently, and Akira uh, Fukutubi, uh, Fukubi, I think it was his name. Uh, those monster film scores are very effective, especially uh, in the earlier Godzilla films. But this isn't really an area of my expertise. Um, I could, you know, when I hear a good film score, I, I can note it how about the fact that it doesn't lead emotionally, that it sort of comments emotionally or distances somehow. Um, but uh, again, this is not my area of expertise, but thanks for the question.